we are gathered here today during the time of the year when the Jewish people mourn the destruction of the Holy Temple. It's a week of remembrance, a time that we recall how the divine will has exiled us from our Holy Land. We are here today to protest the attempted forced conscription into the Israeli army. As we speak, about a dozen of Orthodox Jewish men are currently serving time in Israeli prisons for their religious principles refusal to enlist in the Israeli Defense Force. Religious Jews who stand up for their beliefs are being brutalized. The Israeli police break into people's houses in the middle of the night, drag them out and throw them into prisons for months and even years. Today we have come to echo the words of the prophet Jeremiah as he quotes in the Holy Scriptures, A voice of lamentation is heard from Zion. Oh, how we have been plundered. For decades, the so-called Israeli government attempt by all means to change the view and destroy the values of rule of real Torah true Judaism. They robbed and plundered our holy name and our identity. Israeli leaders cannot stand seeing that after all, generation after generation, God fearing Jewish communities follow the steps of our sages, that it still exists and are not being influenced by their propaganda. So therefore, they now turn to forced conscription into their immoral army and to indoctrinate our youth. They don't just insist that we accept their movement, but they attempt to force our people to actively take part in their wicked actions, and by doing so, violate Judaism. Serving in that immoral army is the worst transgression of the worst sins possible, that is, idolatry, adultery, and bloodshed. Fort Moore, they only need these recruits. Jewish boys dressed with yarmulkes beards and sidewalks, just for one reason, in order to bolster their claim that they represent all Jewry. But our community refuses to participate into that immoral Israeli army. We will never support it. We will not abandon our Torah. We will not change our beliefs. We would rather go to jail than to be part of it. We have the right to be conscientious objectors. In 1998, the United Nations Commission on Human Rights recognized that states should refrain from subjecting conscientious objectors to repeated punishment for failure to perform military services. But they ignored that. So we are here to say to the Israeli government. Stop the brutality, stop the cruelty. Orthodox Jews in the Holy Land have the right to refuse to take part in your actions. Let our communities live in peace. And to those young heroes, those boys who ignore their own needs and their own suffering, and stand up for what's right. These heroes who are willing to sit in jail rather than to serve in the illegitimate immoral Israeli army, our message here today to you is, we are proud of you, we are with you, continue to be strong, because in the end, the Torah will prevail, truth will prevail, justice will prevail, the authentic Torah true Jew will prevail. We will take the opportunity 
to reiterate that one of the basic tenets of the Jewish faith is that since Jews have been exiled from the Holy Land, we are not to aspire any political nationalism. We are bound by divine oath to accept the yoke of the diaspora and live in peace and harmony within the nations that divine destiny has placed us in. Jews are forbidden to create a state of their own, to rebel against any nation, to wage any war against any nation, or to shed any blood. Therefore, the greatest rabbinical authorities vehemently opposed the Zionist movement from the very beginning and refused to recognize their so-called state of Israel that was created. This is why we will never serve in their army of a state that we do not recognize. In conclusion of today's Mass, our message is to the world. The state of Israel is not a Jewish state. The state of Israel and all its actions does not represent totally true Jews, nor will it ever represent them. We will not be plundered. We will not be robbed by the Zionists. With the help of the Almighty, we have survived until now. And with the help of Him, we will continue to survive. Thank you so much.